All right, guys. Well, I just got off of work, and it's uh, it's about just after seven, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna get this uh, plum tree here in the ground. Um, it's pretty wobbly. Um, I've got to get it down, and I've got these uh, these calcium containers, or uh, yeah, I think they're calcium containers, uh, from uh, some farmers, and uh, I'm gonna dig a hole in the ground to go up to about here, maybe a little bit lower. I know about there, I guess. And I'm gonna plant that in the ground about that deep. So it'll give me a little ridge line. And the reason why I'm doing that, um, I will be taking out the bottom as well. So I'll cut the bottom so it's, it, uh, it, the water can flow through. The reason why I can do that is uh, so that when I water that area, I'm watering the roots of the tree and it's not spreading out so I can really control that and I actually got that tip from the farmers uh, and actually the the farmer's wife I work with the farmer's wife and uh, she's my co-worker and her husband passed that on to me so that's what I'm gonna do right now so I'm gonna start digging around and uh, I'll cut the bottom of that out and uh, we'll fit it in there and see how it fits all right guys, so I got the diameter of the hole there and uh, just a little ways down, but I want to make sure that the the pail fits in there. And uh, I've got a fair amount of dirt here already pulled up. There's a worm right there slithering along. You can see that, it's kind of moving. Real slow motion there. <laughs> so anyways, I'm gonna keep digging, but uh, just to show you here, I've got quite a ways to go down yet. So, I'll get to digging. I definitely want to get to around there. So, I decided to use these uh, yellow or blue one. I'm not too sure. Uh, but this one's, uh, what these are used for is for the uh, the cows and they've got salt and minerals in it. Not calcium, they're mineral containers. And uh, that's it there and the, the cows will just lick that. And then down until it's it's done, so. Anyways, I got a fair amount of digging, so I'm gonna get to it and uh, I'll be right back. All right guys, so I've dug down uh, quite a bit and rounded it out uh, a fair bit there. It's the dirt I have, a little bit of dirt in there. So I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna squish it down with my foot. Just to get it in place. I think that's about where I want it. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, it out a little bit more so it goes in a little bit better that's about right and uh, so I think that'll be good I'm gonna cut that bottom out now so I'll do that I'll be right back all right guys so I'm gonna take a three-quarter inch bit and this is the three-quarter inch bit here uh, I'm gonna draw a hole around here and uh, I'm gonna take my jigsaw and I'm gonna go all the way around until it comes all the way back around to here. And then I'll have my hole. So, stay tuned. <laughs> Alright guys, there we got it. We got our hole. That's it there. This is made in Dallas, Texas. And uh, it's uh, made at Southwest Agroplastic Inc. So that's where they're made. That's very cool. All right, Need to keep things uh, keep things here in North America here. All right, so we'll get that in the ground there, just like that, nice and tight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill it up a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some uh, some fertilizer, and I'm gonna put lots of water in there, and then I'm gonna put the plant in there, or the uh, plum tree in there, sorry. And uh, I'll uh, show you when it's done. All right guys, so I'm just checking to see where I wanna be, and uh, that's about where I wanna be. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna water the crap out of this. I'm gonna take this uh, tree out of its uh, little casing here, 
and I'm gonna set it in there with fertilizer and I'm gonna put more dirt on and I'm gonna give it a nice good soaking so I'm gonna get to that right now and uh, I'll see you back when I've got the water in the bottom and then I'll show you when the trees in there floating <laughs> and then I'll fill out the dirt and then uh, we'll get the tree in there and get all this uh, mulch and stuff I got new mulch uh, does have some fertilizer in there see these little green little green beads kicking around here somewhere right here Let's see if I can show you here that's uh that's some fertilizer that's slow slow acting fertilizer what I want to do is get fertilizer in the bottom uh, so that it can uh, give the uh, tree the nutrients that it needs up the stem it is getting uh, late in the fall here well it's actually not fall yet still summer but it feels like fall and uh, winter's on its way so last year we had uh, winter in uh, September and uh, we're sitting at uh, the 17th of August right now so it's getting uh, pretty chilly at night and uh, so things are changing the weather's changing and uh, we've got to be prepared for that so anyways I'm going to uh, fill that with water not fill it right up but give it a good soaking put the nutrients in there get that out of there and uh, we'll see you here in a minute all right guys so here's the uh, fertilizer water I do have water in there right now so I'm just gonna pour that in there then we'll take the uh, tree out there we go that's plenty of water I'm gonna get that uh, ball out and put it in there and I'll be right, right guys so I got the ball in there and as you can see the tree is not very stable right now so I definitely want to uh, get mud in around there I did break the mesh there that uh, ball mesh because I want to break it free and allow it to go into the ground and and get sturdy uh, the dirt will definitely make it sturdier but uh, right now that's uh, what I'm doing we're gonna fill it up get it nice and strong in there and then uh, I'll see you when I've got all that done and I'll give it a little more water. All right guys, so there you got it. I got it in the ground, it's pretty stable. I pushed it down with my hands just to give it some strength. So it's good now. Now the last step I have to do is put the wood chips over it. So I'll get to that right now. All right guys, so I've got the uh, Scotch Natural Scapes. So uh, it's uh, red, that's what I decided to go with. And uh, this is uh, just mulch. And it's gonna give it that uh, nutrients and the acid acidity that it needs to produce a lot of plums. So anyways, I'm gonna get onto that and I'm gonna put it on there and I'll show you what I'm done. All right guys, so there it is. I just wanna add one more thing. With this uh, mulch here, the one thing that it does as well, aside from adding uh, acid and a little bit more nutrients to the tree, is it keeps the soil moist because it soaks up the water. And that's the last thing I have to do to this tree, is add some more water. So I put a little bit more fertilizer water in. This is the bucket that I used to put the mulch on top. And so I'm going to clean the bucket, do a two-stage process, and I'm going to feed this tree. So let's get at her. I'm going to use the old foot to pour the water on. So I'll let that set. I'll throw a little bit more mulch on top of it. And we're good to go. Thanks guys for coming around and watching my video. I really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. Give the old thumbs up and leave a comment. I'd be glad to get back to you. And hopefully this time next year, I'll have plums on this tree. Thanks guys. We'll see you later. It's coming from... Darren Sharon homesteading. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week.